contents come out since the fight and we've seen the instructions AJ was given going into round five. What did you make of them instructions that, you know, he was looking to roll the dice, throw the uppercut, um, and, and he also said that the, the ball was shit. I don't know if you've seen that footage. I've seen everything. I've seen and heard everything. Alarming, quite alarming. When you have to tell as I've seen it, hence why my age, this is why experience and uh, comes into a lot of things in life. The coach has to take charge. Your fighter cannot be dictating what's happening in the corner. The coach, as a coach, you take charge. And what I saw, um, obviously, it's uh, been circulated all over the internet. Um, yeah, the coach has to take charge. There's a lot of unnecessary conversations going on about being our guy being SHIT, alarming. I would, if a fighter of mine dare says that, especially with what's going on, being floored every round, I would have slapped them the hardest slap and put slap some sense into them. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. So the trainer has to take charge in those situations. <laughs> slap! <laughs> Oh, man. Those are the words of Don Charles, and Don Charles responded to AJ's comments about Danny Dubois being, right? And he would have responded with a slap. And let me counterpunch. Um, that is old school mentality. That's what he's supposed to have done. Because, see, Ben Davison's a younger guy. He's younger. And I think he was just trying to be like the cheerleader and trying to be encouraging to AJ during that difficult time while he was getting beat, okay? And the fight wasn't going anywhere near what they thought it was going to be. So I guess he, and he was talking thinking like, yeah, you know, we roll the dice and, you know, and AJ said, saying that instead of someone old school and being realistic, like, yo, you're getting your ass whooped. You know what I mean? You're getting whipped. So listen, shut up with all that. You know, let's come up with a good game plan, you know, and, and and stop all that. Because, see, what he was saying, oh, he's this and he's that, it do, it didn't make sense. And it just showed you how off that he probably was because I, I, a lot of that was embarrassment, bro. I think AJ was embarrassed. This is probably second to that Andy Ruiz because Andy was fat and, you know, and blubbery and stuff. So it didn't even look right. It looked like this short, fat guy beating up this tall, muscular dude. It was just hilarious. It, it, it was just totally opposite of what you're accustomed to seeing. But Daniel Dubois beating up AJ like that, you know, and then AJ saying that and doing this, I think he was worried and concerned about the wrong things instead of, hey, what do you do to fix it? You know, and listen, it just shows you, though, it's not just a um, it's not just him getting at AJ. OK, he's not taking a dig at AJ necessarily like you think he's taking a dig at Ben Davison because Ben, that's something Ben Davison should have done. You know, and then he would have done that if he was there. He wasn't there. He was in the corner of Dubois, you know, um, coaching him to uh, defend his IBF championship and beating, you know, the poster child of British boxing. You know what I'm saying? That's what he was doing. So him saying, hey, this is what I would have done if I was his trainer. His trainer is who? Ben Davison. So Ben Davison should have been slapping him. Shut up. You know, because you have to do and take charge of this of that fighter. Those are those hard choices that you make when you're doing a job that gets difficult in that situation. Okay? That's the deal. That's what he should have been doing. Don Charles is just old school. Think about Don. That's Don versus Ben. That's 30 years apart. Think about it. That's about 30 years right there. 25, 30 years apart they are. Okay, and it just shows you the difference on how they manage or how they coach. And I have to call it a buck. Ben Davison did nothing. I don't think he did nothing to help Anthony Joshua besides keep him, uh, uh, keep his ego where it was still at, which that helped him not at all. That didn't help him at all having his ego there where it was because there was no strategy strategy there was no instruction there was no nothing nothing of that 
really mattered when it came to that situation. He didn't tell him like, hey, man, keep your hands up. You know what I mean? You know, be careful with those shots because he is throwing combinations, you know. And AJ, by default, was putting his hands up. But he didn't do that initially when he got hurt. See, he could have avoided that that overhand right, and that overhand right was stro it, it was fresh, it was strong, and it landed. Okay, and see what people don't understand about fighters: if you hit someone with your first of your shots and you throw it and you land, do you know how much power is on that shot? That power is coming with that punch is coming with power. That com punch is coming with speed. That punch is coming with that full velocity. All the endurance, because the endurance is at the very top at that point. You're in round one, so you're in round one, and you get caught with that shot. Why do you think Tyson was knocking guys out first and second round? For that matter, Dan Dubois, because. His stamina was way up here. So that punch that he that he thrown and landed in the first round, oh yeah, that that that's the jackpot because that's the punch that's going to have the most sting and mustard on it. Okay? And he landed it against AJ. So people need to take that into account. But back to AJ saying always oh, he's this and he's shit and all it. Listen, that did not help you fight any better. That did not help you defend any better. So what Don Charles was saying is, hey, Ben Davidson should have told him to shut up or slapped him or something. And I absolutely agree because it made no sense. I understand that AJ was just keeping the confidence up to be that guy that needed that confidence to stay positive. But at the same time, that positivity can also bring you into denial because it's not needed. But you guys tell me what you think of Don Charles stating he would have slapped his trainer if he would have been talking that nonsense at the same time getting his ass whipped. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.